Hi everyone, I'm Donna Downey here today for Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft. And the technique we're going to do today is reflective techniques with glass bead glitter gel. So I've already got a canvas already set up with color and I'm featuring one of my new favorite colors from the Bali line. It's a really bright, bright pink and I want that to stand out as the highlight in this. So I'm going to put some water on this and make it truly just drip and be runny. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up and I'm going to paint with my fingers again, rubbing in that color, working each color separate so as not to make one new color by dragging it across the canvas. And you'll see how that color just pops. Really smooth and it's gonna drip right down that piece. All right, I think I've got it really good and mixed up. Just wipe off my finger here and then I'm gonna watch it drip down the canvas. So my canvas is completely dry, so I'm going to do the reverse stenciling technique with a baby wipe and a stencil. And I just want to take out a little bit of a design through here. So I'm just going to put that down, get myself a nice wet baby wipe, and just rub away the color through the stencil. The more pressure you apply, the more color will be removed, and you might just want to get creative with this, maybe not make it perfect or regular. Light areas, dark areas. All right, so now you can see I've got that little hint of texture in the background. I'm gonna go a step further and I'm gonna use the glass bead glitter gel to add a pop. Now what's really cool about this product is that it'll dry clear. And as you put it on, it'll start to be reflective from the color you have behind it. And if you see in my original piece, you'll see that I used teal and grays. And you'll see that that glitter gel reflects that color. So I'm gonna do the same on this and I'm gonna use numbers just to go across the top. So I'm just going to put this down, get myself my palette knife, and don't be frightened, it looks like it's white, but it will dry clear. I'm just going to apply it, and you'll feel a gritty texture, that's the glass beads in there. And I love the part where I get to lift it up and reveal what's underneath. And I'm going to leave those little bits there. And I'm also then going to apply it just around the edges. Because it will reflect the color, I'm going to be able to highlight some more of that color I have underneath by putting this little bit of texture. And by using the palette knife, it's going to apply it irregularly. I'm not deciding where it's going to go. I'm just going to get these little bits of reflective color popping through on the finished piece. My piece is now completely dry and you can see how all of those little glass beads and the glitter are catching and reflecting on the colors underneath. It's a really fun way to play with color in your work as well as texture. So if you're looking for just that little bit of shine, glass bead glitter gel is the way to go.